2023 was a year of unprecedented worker wins. The solidarity was real, and no matter who you were or what industry you worked in, you were going to know how powerful working folks are. Now let's hop right into our recap. Throughout the year, airport workers across the country took a stand calling on Congress for fair treatment and to be included in the FAA reauthorization. Speaking of rising up and fighting back, 60,000 Los Angeles public school workers shut it down in the nation's second largest district strike as they fought for meaningful pay raises and benefits. We took action and we won. Speaking of taking action and flexing that worker power, fast food workers in California won a groundbreaking $20 minimum wage in a fast food council, setting a new standard in the industry. Talk about big wins of big wins, we can't forget about Virginia employees making history by voting yes to unionize with SEIU 512, making us one step closer to all workers in the South winning their right to a union. Workers in the South are making big moves. Waffle House workers bravely went on strike demanding wage increases and in safer workplaces. Safety is not just a problem at Waffle House. Security is a problem across the service industry and that's why workers are fighting back. Workers were not to be played with this year. Period. Kaiser Healthcare workers made history this year too, with 75,000 of them staging the largest healthcare strike ever and winning big races. So when a hater says what's big, say that union difference. One thing we know for sure is strikes work. Hollywood writers and actors went on strike and won a historic deal addressing AI residuals and pay hikes. Ready for more worker wins? Don't worry, we're just getting warmed UAW up. UAW faced off with the big three automakers and during a month-long strike for respect, protection, and fair pay. And you already know they won huge victories. I could stop, but the worker victories keep rolling in. Starbucks workers blazed through this year with over 300 stores unionizing this year. Even former Starbucks CEO called to testify about the company's union-busting tactics. Now, after the Red Cup Rebellion, they're ready to come to the table and we will make sure Starbucks bargains in good faith. Workers are rising up and speaking truth to power like never before. Globally, Amazon workers took a stand against the company's aggressive union busting by walking out and going on strike and fighting for their rights. Our message is clear. We are fighting for unions for all and we won't stop until we get it. So when we say unions for all, we mean all. No matter what industry. With workers at Apple, Sega, Nickelodeon, and Marvel making union history in their companies by being the first to fight for their union recognition. This has been a monumental year for workers across the board. UPS Teamsters secured a historic contract addressing safer working conditions and better pay. Part-time workers will see a pay increase to $21 an hour and full-time workers' average top pay will be raised to $49 an hour. This contract sets high standards for all workers across the industry. Speaking of transforming an industry, Minnesota and Colorado are transforming the long-term care industry with a model that empowers workers. Minnesota has adopted the Nursing Home Workforce Standards Board and Colorado has signed into law a new home care standard, both of which will bring together workers, employers, and the government to set a minimum workplace standards for the sector. Worker solidarity is at an all-time high and we're not slowing down. Solidarity season isn't ending and we're taking the energy from the strike line to the ballot box. Get in on the action. Solidarity season is forever.